I don't know why I do it, man. I don't know why I do it to myself, but you know what? It's okay. Guys, I'm going to take you back to the, uh, not the past, and we're not going to play crappy games that suck something. Oh, whatever. It's five more terrible games that everyone should have been made. Deep of the Fright! No! No. Jeez. No, Scotty. Slippy. Bad. Oh, my God. Bad. I hate that you invoked Slippy at the beginning of this. You know, back when Star Fox, the original, came out on the Super Nintendo, I had a friend that had, I, I never had a Super Nintendo, but I had a good friend right. that had one. I go over to his house to play it a long time. He let me play Star Fox for the first time. I was blown away, like big 3D right. graphics and stuff. But oh. he was like, there, there's that part at the very beginning where Slippy gets in trouble. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he's like, help, Fox, save me, save me. Uh, and I started to save him, and he was like, dude, don't save that fucking frog, man. He just messes you up. Let him die. <laughs> like, yeah, you'll be, you'll be glad he's not around. Frog, it's the, you know. I know. I think even in Star Fox 64, he was annoying, dude. It's like, okay, they had a chance to totally fix Slippy or just replace Slippy. It's like, no, we got to bring Slippy back. It's like, Slippy. why? Why yeah. the fuck are we going to bring Slippy back of all characters? Horrible. Ugh. Slippy is a guy. That's one thing that Nintendo has slipped on, though. Bro. As aside, make a fucking Switch Star Fox, Nintendo. Come the fuck on. Really? Yeah, why not? You could do Please. all kinds of cool shit. God pisses me off. But anyway. Help me! Fox, help me, help Fox! Me. It's I'm slipping! Hey, they're on my tail and I can't shake them! <laughs> I can't shake them, Fox! I can't shake them! Just die. Sorry, Slippy. Fuck you, then. You shouldn't be in a fucking Starfighter, <laughs> then, you the dumb fuck. The first map of Star Fox 64, which I played more of the... I played the SNES one. Uh, but you had to save Slippy in order to get to, like, the, the harder route. It always pained me. I had to save Slippy. It's like, oh, really? You have fuck to keep Slippy. him alive? That just proof slippy. you shouldn't save him, that you have to go a harder route if you do. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> well, it totally changes the game. They but even let you know, like, that, that things game. are harder with Slippy. You know what I mean? So, TJ, uh, Paul, I know you didn't. Uh, uh, there's some uh, Genesis games on here because I know you're more familiar with that. Uh, TJ, have you ever played Road Riot, uh, four uh, wheel drive? I actually I played this game back oh, you in the have day. Played it. Yeah, I've seen. Okay, so I've, yeah, I had a friend that had every fucking Super Nintendo. My, my friend Waylon. His, oh, Waylon. Okay. His mom would go to Costco, and Costco would have this bin of five dollar yep. pick and play video games that were old, and he had every fucking Super Nintendo game, and we played. Not not much, but we did play this at some point. Yeah, this one. So this is actually, we're talking specifically the SNES version of this, because this is a port of original 1981 arcade game by Atari. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many people are aware of that. Well, but, you can so, see here, too, it's marked with the stamp of quality pointed out by the angry video game nerd. Good old THQ de developed this, so. Yeah, THQ, LJN, uh, but it, it is an official the original Nintendo uh, title, as you can see, with a seal of quality right there. Uh, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but this is the shitty SNES version of the game. Uh, God, the music sucks, too. Dude, Super Nintendo had such sucks, good... Like, Super Nintendo had the best music chip. So for yeah, it to it sound that bad, Genesis, but they just cheaped sure. out on it. I mean, this graphics looks like NES shit this almost This actually looks here. better. This actually looks better than when you actually play the game. What do you mean? Like I mean, like the like the, these cut screens when you actually get into oh. gameplay. Okay. Get ready. Oh yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah. You guys what ready? Kind of music Fuck yeah. Oh my god. Oh no, <laughs> Mario Kart came out on this. No, yes. what? Oh, it's gibberish. It's awful. You oh, know, you know no. what this is a rip off of the Genesis game Outrun. Which on a an inferior console, the Sega Genesis, with an inferior color palette, managed to make a really smooth, fun racing game like this. This does yeah. not even look like a fucking Tiny Super Nintendo. You know what this looks dude. like, honestly? There is an old arcade game called Pole Position that started this type right. of racing game. Yeah, it I looks like it. fucking Pole Position from the eighty from like nineteen eighty two or whatever. This yeah, is I think they have that as a bit, uh, that place we went to in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. I think I've played that one. Uh but 
when you compare it to the Atari version, it's just night and day. So you're like, Atari, obviously, that's fucking. <laughs> Look at these characters. <laughs> I'm racial what stereotype. Cha Cha McCready, what? <laughs> this fucking shit, man. Oh, this is like, so this is just an example. It looks the same. Bullshit. It looks exactly the same. Yeah, watch some pixelated tits, guys. Oh, it's, so fucking con it's so condensed down that you can't even really tell where one car is and the other one. I mean, like, it sucks. So show the Atari version now. I mean, uh, you guys have got the, the feel. I mean, shitty tiny sprites. You can barely All see right. what's going on. You can barely see, like you're supposed to be shooting people, but you well, can't this really is tell. the this is the arcade version, right? From Atari. Yes. This is the arcade. Okay. Version. So this is the this is what they were porting. I'm gonna put this down a little. So we can hear ourselves. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's way better already. Ari looks way cooler, way crisper. Uh, this music doesn't completely suck. It's still not in love with it, but okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is like Whoa. a play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, she looks like a person. Okay. Damn. Those are some way better pixelated titties. Exactly. Yeah. This is like your intro level. It's like, yep, there you go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pixelated boobies, we love it. You can actually, if you're actually way close, you can see your hey, little wow, fireball. Wow, you can actually like, do something with the other car. Like you can actually interact with the other cars instead of just overlapping them too. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually a race. <laughs> I mean, it's not like, is it a great game? No, it doesn't look like that. I mean, I mean it still it looks, looks like shit, but compared to what I just saw, it like definitely is way better than that shit. Oh, it's way, it's a cut above that. No, I still think it looks like fucking ass, and but, I don't. But this have is any a playable game. But... The other the other game is not, to me, in my opinion, really a playable version of this game. Nor should it even share the same name. Last lap. It looks like the fucking second lap. Yeah, still a shit Whoa. game. Still <laughs> never should have been made. But at least, at least there's something here. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's a, pretty it's a competent pole position type game with a little weapon added in. That's kind of neat. Okay. But yeah, you so could you have guys done those, watched you, the show. You could have done equivalent graphics on the fucking Super Nintendo easily. Oh, there are Super yeah. Nintendo games that look just like that. So of course. I mean the yeah, Mario so Kart. Why it looks much, like instead like an NES version or something is pretty bizarre. That's an insult to the NES even, dude. That just looks like a shit version that never should have come out. This is another one uh I bumped into that is unplayable. I remember this is an <laughs> un so boring. literally unplayable game. So this is a bit, this is a bit Nick Lodin gut show. Uh, I didn't watch it too much as a kid, but I kind of, uh, in the periphery, remember it. It was like kids got to do so where they compete, so they would jump, and there's a basketball one. They had, and the big final event was like they climbed this mountain. It was like, oh, my God. If you get to this top of this mountain, you had to, like, go. There's obstacles. Like, these fake boulders could fall on you, and there'd be smoke and shit in your face. And you have yeah. to hit button. You have to hit the right uh, button at the right time to set up, like, like I remember the show light. a little bit, but I don't remember this game at all, so I don't think I played this. But it's based on that. So Nickelodeon gets a video game based on the game show of the same name, released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1994. One or two players may compete in many of the events that uh, debuted on the TV show, including the Agro Crag, which I think is the mountain. Uh, the game was based on actual footage of the show and contains film contestants. Okay. Now they've been immortalized. You're going to skip uh, to 35 seconds in. All right. Or wherever. I mean, this is the, whatever. This is Here's good. good. Here's good enough. It's Rick. It's Ricky. Ricky. Ricky, Ricky C. Oh, you need, so you need points. points yeah, to, to, to climb to the mountain. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. This is spirals. You guys ready? Some pulse pounding uh -huh. action. Oh my God. This, this is bringing Charge back your jump. just duty flavored <laughs> memories. Oh, he didn't get any points. Try again. All right. All right, you made it. Yeah, this is exciting, guys. Yeah, <laughs> fun, huh? All right, we skip ahead, TJ. Let's see some more of the game. It looks fun, right? Yeah, let's see another <laughs> game part. Oh, boy. Now it's a shitty platformer. I mean, I'll say this. At least they did a little work, like, animating in this one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's got way smoother animations than that last travesty we saw, but... 
I remember this game being un unplayable. Like the controls were hideous. Oh, it looks awful. It, I mean, this I mean, this guy playing it is probably has played spent way too much time playing this game to oh, yeah. get here. For sure. A lot of these shitty games, it doesn't look like because you'll see people do run throughs. Like, oh yeah, you can play it. It's like, no, you can't. Not unless you know exactly what to do. And there's always like some obtuse or obscure thing. Like he knows to go get that. Like you, you or I probably wouldn't even just skip that part. You're like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh my god. That's super exciting, right, guys? I mean, like, I just feel it I feel like you know the energy coming off. Dude, you guys see if you can find this. the aggro crag, TJ. Yeah, I'll see that. Oh, he got hit. Good. Well, that's gonna be at the end. If if it's here. So we're gonna close him Oh, oh that, yeah, there you it? go. Yeah, yeah that was it. That was it. Yeah, yeah this right here. He's in the aggro crag now. He's gonna climb that mountain, TJ. Oh, got hit by steam. Oh no, oh. it's steamy. And green boulder. This uh, is cock a duty. And he overshot it, so you can see the controls are so shitty. He knows where to go, but it's so shitty. Yeah, see that, that that's the light. You have to hit. You have to hit the switch. Uh, and that uh -huh. just glitches. Okay. Yeah, this this um uh this sucks. <laughs> I just don't know how it would be exciting. Dude, dude, show, I, I, I pulled an ad for it too, just to show you like the way they're trying ad? to Oh no. Well, not an actual done? video ad, just like an ad you would see in like a gaming magazine. Oh, okay. It's Here we super go. Super tiny, of course, because it's from the 90s. If it's just Guts. a video game, why are you so out of breath? It's like from whole, like, what do you, like, this is the one of the least I'm, exciting I'm games. I'm out of breath because I was seen. like, I was like, I, I was so fucking shocked at how bad it was that I literally forgot to breathe. That's what it I was. Knocked the wind out of you. Uh, no, Tighten this your game helmet is because weird. realistic animation based on actual rotoscoped competitors lets you feel every twist, splash, and tumble of Nickelodeon's <laughs> ultimate sports show with uh, seven extreme events. Nickelodeon's guts will leave you breathless. Here's why this game doesn't work overall even more than that. It's because this is something as a kid, if you saw on TV, it's like, I would love to do that, right? I love to I mean, like, I don't know, maybe you guys not so much, but I would like, I saw these kind of shows. I'm like, I wanted to fucking do this shit. Like, I was like, man, those kids are living the fucking dream right there. Like, not play some shitty fucking video game where it's like, okay, hit A, oh, charge up your jump, throw it in. That's fucking lame as shit, dude. That's not a fucking consolation prize. This isn't putting you in the game. It this is just like looks, thing. it looks lame. Like, you just look at it instantly and just know it's a lame piece of shit. Cause like if you're gonna play a video game, you don't want to play a video game where you do something like I want to pretend I'm on Nickelodeon guts. Like you want to like be a fucking, you want to go to like space or like shoot some yeah. aliens or fight fucking fight some monsters. demons or something. I don't know. I never, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm just maybe I I'm, I don't know. I don't, I'm not in touch with this because I never liked sports games in general and shit. Uh, the only fucking sports game I ever even kind of liked was um, NBA Jam. Because it was so oh, fucking dude. ridiculous. Oh, but NBA like, Jam was dope, man. Yeah, I know like that Blitz football game too. But that's because it was like over the right. Top. So they had to kind of like exaggerate shit for me to be into it. Like I, I didn't want to be like football, I want to do in a dude. simulator. What you ever play Mutant League football on the Genesis? No, dude, no. that one is that one is amazing. I gotta play that on my emulator. That sounds fun. Cool. Uh, What's next? Oh my god, back, what is this? Uh, this is uh, not not going. Uh, we've uh, we've gone back. But now we need to go something a little bit more recent. This is from 2020. This is Tiny Racer on the Switch. Tiny Racer. Huh? Hold me closer, Tiny, Tiny Racer. Racer. Count okay. the headlights on the highway. All right, okay, let's see. Got some gameplay, TJ. Got some fucking gameplay. You ready to be excited again? I'm pumped. Yeah. I'm pumped for this episode. I want to fucking shoot shit. Yeah, I'm loving it. But up. Yeah, dude. Ba, ba, ba. Loving it. I've never okay. played this one, but I'm guessing Tiny Racer is an excuse to make this game look like shit and have tiny little unseeable f fucking sprites and shit. Can we just? It just, looks like something. Do, do I really need to see you playing? Yeah, battery saver, battery settings and shit. Just fucking show the game, bitch. All right, he's got to play. All right. Uh huh. No, no, oh, whatever. It's a tournament. Come on, choose your car. Oh, the cars look like shit. They just look fucking oh, I'm so doing generic. The fucking VW bug or, not or the van. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. That, that's what they chose. Rookie. Okay. Good choice. All right. Tiny racer. If I'm playing a racing game, I don't want to like, why am I listening to this fucking dog shit music? Dan, dan, dan. Especially when you're on the switch. It says Mario Kart fucking eight. Why would you even consider playing this? Wow. Wham. Pow. 
Look, it's great. Why Thump. is shit? Why is shit so blurry? Because it's a piece of shit. Fucking. It's got good graphics, TJ. Up, oh, bam, wham. Shovelware, piece of garbage game. Uh, oh no. Okay. Wow. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. The game is just terrible, dude. Terrible controls. Terrible mechanics. You can just tell. This oh, just has no, fucking man. quality written all over it, man. This is a Switch game. This is 2020. This isn't fucking goddamn 10 years ago. This is fucking two years ago. This came out. <sighs> Uh, the description is miniature cars race through kitchens and forests and ice torches interactive ten dollars switch race. So you don't even really get the con you don't even really get the mini concept here because like this they doesn't look nothing here looks mini like it's on a road a with trees around it and shit. It doesn't look mini. There is a Hot Wheels arcade game that does a way better job of putting you in like the feel of like a small car. Like here we are in another like where's the mini environment? Like it's mini though because you're where, a little how? mini car. Because like, they, they said it. On, they should be racing on kitchen countertops and shit. Isn't that what we fucking were promised in the fucking description you just read? There like, are everything games here that are like that, like a Micro Machines game. I remember where you were racing around like toilets yeah. and fucking. Bathrooms. Like when I heard Tiny and, Racers, that's what I expected. And right. uh, this this just looks like a cartoony version of a normal race. Uh, so I called or the review shit. from. Uh, and, sorry, like, I cut you off, Paul. Uh, Nintendo World Report. Tiny Racer offers nothing you haven't seen before or does anything special that requires you to play it. It feels like a game that was created in about a week without any attention to details or a specific goal in mind aside from, let's make the cars tiny. Honestly, it even failed in that regard. Yeah. It's been said that Nintendo allows practically anything on the Switch eShop, and nowadays, uh, and Tiny Racer has strengthened that belief for me. Wow. So even people that are just Nintendo fans are just like, what the fuck is this? Like, you guys used to have a seal of quality because you wouldn't allow shit like this to be on your platform and on your console. And uh, I have to agree. This game is fucking useless. It does nothing. You guys literally... They're talking about the company that literally has the hottest fucking racing game ever, Mario Kart. Like, that's the fucking... That's the game that you can literally put anyone in, whether an expert or know nothing about it, and play it. Look it's how a boring this is, game. man. There's no, like, rubber banding to keep other people in the game uh, the ai in the game so you are, like at least you constantly have to race he's just so yeah. far ahead that all he has to do is not completely fuck himself and he's just gonna get first place and he's gonna yeah, where are the drops to make it interesting you're right it's like okay oh you can turn into a bullet or you have shells or you have something like you have a boost i mean There's at nothing. least at least a lot of these games will have rubber banding where it's like the ai will be able to get you know close to you even if you're driving way better than they are it'll give them a speed boost or some shit so they're exactly. still right on your ass like even that would make that fucking a little more interesting this is garbage nope <laughs> you'll get none of that this is terrible this Ugh. is just i mean like another game know, that never we, should have been made we call, i mean this is just is just lame as shit there's nothing it has nothing going on for itself like it's not it doesn't even look, they don't even look tiny. Like they, it just looks like generic. It's like they fucking couldn't, they just, I think they just made a regular racing game. But when they saw the cars, it's like, they look more like toy cars, don't they? Yeah. Let's just call it tiny racers. Dude, you know, if this is actually just a cheap cash in that parents are looking at the store. I'll tell you exactly what it is. And it's like, this game's $10, little Billy. You want to you know, play this, this is a better game. You know that meme where it's like, we have X at home, and then it's like some inferior version. It's like, this is like we have Mario Kart at home. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, that's yeah. what this shit is. Uh, that's just mean. If someone gets their kids this fucking game, dude, they just hate their child. They just want their t child to suffer and die. Play yeah, it for fucking after... $9.99. Fuck off. Stop comment. Anyone, uh, anyone else you're after was named Worst Game of 2020? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's where I pulled this from. A list of worst games from 2020. So. Amazing graphics. Game summarizes what was 2020. <laughs> right. Man. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this was, I think the fucking, this is what started COVID-19 is this fucking game. Yeah, this game was released and then people started coughing, right? Experts. Yeah, dude. Experts. Ex dude, Perts, I do dude. not even remember this one. So yeah, this, this is has Genesis gotta be. One. Uh, you don't remember it, Paul, because no, there was friends a... threw, if they got it, they threw it in the trash. They're like, oh, shit, Paul's coming over. Can't see that game. Like, Dude, I, I, I had I, This is the only console I had as a kid was a Genesis, and I never saw this. I don't even remember seeing this game for rent anywhere. So it must be a real turd burger. Well, I remember, like, these, they used to be perks, Paul. 
They used to be perks, but now they're then X perks. X uh, perks, so, you know. Have you heard of this game, Paul? Have you ever heard of a game called Eternal Champions? Yes. Okay, this is a spin-off of the game Eternal Champions. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Yep, the critics and gamers like found the concept of controlling three players exciting at first. So you get to control three players. So like on paper, it's like, oh my god, you can do that. Uh, if you guys don't know, I, I didn't actually. Eternal Champions is a 1983 fighting game developed and published by Sega uh, for the Sega Genesis. It's actually one of the few fighting games of its time developed from the ground up as a home console title uh, rather than being, an, an, you know, ported from an arcade version. It like, had you know, horrible controls and it had uh, fatalities that were stage based. So you had to kill somebody as they were standing in front of the right part of the background to get the fatalities oh, okay. to go off. Really? And it was impossible uh, to pull them off. Like you would get up, you would get one by accident every once in a while and, and go ape shit. But it was an okay mm-hmm. game. Like I played Eternal Champions quite a bit. So it's weird that there was a spinoff that I didn't hear about. Yeah, this uh, this chick in the middle, like she, name is Shadow Yamamoto or whatever. Yeah. She is supposed to be a, a spinoff of that. Like she's one of the characters in the game. Yeah. Hmm. We got some gameplay to take a look at, TJ. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, skip to a minute and 30 seconds. All right. And then we'll just, we'll, we're going to go throughout. Well, all that's happening in a minute and 30 seconds is a fucking giant wall of text. <laughs> like, look at this shit. Yeah, this is, this is supposed to be all your, like, backstory. Zachary oh, Taylor. No. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I don't care. This, am I playing a fucking video it's game? Exciting. Or am I reading right. fucking, oh, oh, you're, you're reading tired a book here? You're tired of this part, TJ? Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Skip ahead. No, skip I want to see. I want to. I want to read his whole backstory, though. I'm so interested. Wow, yeah, just that part, dude. <laughs> it literally this fucking backstory goes from from two minutes to like how many minutes in? Like four four minutes in, yeah. basically. It's still going. Like you're reading a fucking book on the Sega Genesis at this point. It's wait. It's still going five minutes. What is this? Uh, I mean, you can get right into the There's more words. Here. More right words. Here. You ready? There you go. Warning. And then finally you get Zach to this. In combat. Zach, report. Combat complete. Oh my yeah. fucking God. Fuck yeah, dude. So what? Kick. This looks kick. so much worse than Eternal Champions. Warning. Look at her fucking walk cycle. You, you know, I figured they, they, all, they all look like living like Barbie dolls. Look at her so fucking they, yep. stance. Like, can they walk she literally walks stamp. around in like a squat position and then she look at her walk cycle like struts <laughs> she walks like a goddamn gorilla all right ready Complete, guys look now there's some more exciting stuff going on now this guy's okay. gonna walk through the map okay he's gonna press the console oh okay. my god cool. uh-huh okay, his objective okay now and now, okay, she's now going he, got there. A, he got a sex change i guess and now he's this yeah, chick. That's, that's what happened i mean hey don't judge don't hate I don't care. You know, this is fair. It's fine. Yeah, now kick that, kick that generic enemy. Ah, ah! what, what is happening? Uh, who knows? Yeah. This, well, this. Oh, okay. Well, this is confusing to you guys. Like, just, just go to the middle then, TJ. Just keep. Are going. there levels? I mean, like, it seems like she walked two feet, kicked one guy, and then all of a sudden there's words. It looks like it's some kind of half-ass Metroidvania where there's just like a big level. You got to go to different parts of it to hit different buttons and stuff. Like everywhere I go, it's text. All right, here you go. Some oh. more exciting stuff. Okay, there's an enemy back there. Okay, well, never mind. It's just gonna just gonna walk away. All right, well, no problem. Okay. I can hit that. Okay, never mind. Okay. No, I can hit that enemy. Okay. Right, console. Oh my god! Yeah. Cool. Okay. Oh, oh shit. shit! Kick just that! Kick that! Kick that turret! Kick, kick, that it. turret. kick it! Kick the turret! Kick it! Yeah, the enemy should fire or something, but it's okay. The enemy could just no. Let, let enemy, her deal with that atta- Why would an enemy need to attack you? It just needs to stand yeah. around. Uh, go to okay now. Go to two hours in. <laughs> you want to see the end of this game? Two hours of gameplay in this. Fuck this, man. Every yeah. enemy looks the same, and all you do is kick. I guess is there, is there no punch or is it just useless? You can, no, I think you can punch, but they may. But I've not seen playing. this person playing punch one time. All they just it's, the it's probably just kick. like a shorter, slower kick, so they're just using the best at uh, it's just bad game design. Like one of the attacks is inherently superior to any other attack, so you may as well just have it. It's gotta ride around in two hours. Oh my god, look at it. It just look how long that's on the screen. Yep. Look oh, it's, it's constantly you're constantly going on these consoles because it's giving you information about what le- what you need to do at what level. <sighs> All right. We're at the, right at the end of the game, TJ. You ready? Hell yeah, I'm ready. Complete. 
He's got to get to the escape pod, man. All right, keep yep, keep working get on that, that console. Get in that fucking escape pod, buddy. You're gonna make it. Okay, Do it. you Does got it. The escape you got pod this. Yet? You got this weird dude. strut, bitch. You, you, you might want to run if there's like an escape pod that needs to be gotten to. Nope, I only have a walk cycle. Oh, that? blood, crazy. Yeah, there's see, there's some blood there. I don't know Since what you was, did. So this game was lame, TJ. I could not get over this bitch's walk cycle. Give me a break. Who you looked at this and thought, here? yeah, good idea. Hey, yeah, maybe pull that gun out. Does he do anything? He just stands there and waits to be killed, right? That's all he does. He's like the ultimate jobber. He's dazed by that kick. Oh, shit. Oh, oh wow, you got him. Fatality. Flawless victory. See, see, you got to do the same thing. Oh, you got to do the same thing again. I guess gonna he's going to go on that panel. Show me the panel. Oh, I love that panel, dude. Yeah, this is fucking report. This yeah, is, dude, yeah, Zach big, report, guys, bro. You get to control three people. Shadow. It's amazing. Control three people at once. That's fucking crazy. Wow. I, so maybe it's a little bit further. Cause I go to the cut. I want to show you guys the cut scene at the very end. There's a cut scene at the end. There's a there's a little one. All right, maybe it's yeah. I must have missed time doing where it was. Uh, I keep going. I know it's in there. I, mean, I don't see no cutscene night. anywhere in this fucking shit. All right, maybe was... not. I guess weird. All right, so yeah, it was a it's a really lame explosion. Oh, there oh, it is. Here it is. Yeah, it's just like for some reason it happens before everything we watch. Here you go. Is it your Wait, how, so they escape, escape and then they keep playing. Right. See that okay. little pixel explosion. But then they keep playing. So they weren't in yeah, that. What wait was, a minute. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Anyway. Yeah. So that's this game. <laughs> what is she doing? Is that the boss of the game? Oh, wait. wait actually, I? we have some reviews written up about it, too. Let's see. Before we move on. So, of course, people were excited. Uh, but argue that any potential fun is ruined by the repetitiveness of both the action and missions. What Andrew action? Darren, elaborate on the missions. Even though they are named different things and found in different areas, all they really consist of is you standing in front of something, pressing a button, and waiting for the character to finish. They uh, and this is a, a magazine, uh, Electronic Gambling Monthly. Uh, they scored the game a five and a half out of ten. Why? Seems high. It seems uh, way high for this Pro piece of shit. Game the game as well, citing moronic <laughs> enemy AI, poor control, ugly animations, repetitive missions, and unoriginal sound effects. Uh, game Pro is 100% right. This, this is... A yeah, this sucks. This game's a fucking one out of ten. This isn't a five and a half out of ten, or it's five point one two five. This is a zero. This is like not. I would just be like, I refuse to give this a rating as it's not a game. <laughs> That's this sucks. Oh, this one I have played. Yep, this is Fantasia. I played this. Genesis. It's a, it's six mega bits, drive. TJ. Mega drive. Oh, Sixteen bits, TJ. Sixteen oh. bits of power, man. Sixteen bits of. 16 shit so, motherfucker. Uh, just be careful tj because you look you are talking shit about i know uh, that's just, true just, i gotta fucking but you know he's I mean, he's already he's already made whatever money he's gonna make on this thing so you don't you don't care i mean i don't know i mean i don't know uh so yeah gameplay yeah just like look at this shit it sucks check it out it's, it's horrible so the thing about fantasia is that it's like the music right you listen to this fucking music in this game it sounds like shit Oh, it's awful, dude. Like, just watch some of the levels. Ugh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, so shit. in the game, wrong, the player controls game. Mickey Mouse as the sorcerer's apprentice through various side-scrolling levels in an attempt to collect musical notes that somehow went missing while he was asleep. Why is it Betty Bye? Listen Not many shit. stages. The game's four levels were based on amalgamations of segments of Fantasia, with each one themed around elements, water, the sorcerer's apprentice, dance of the reed, flutes, and the nutcracker, Arabian dance, earth, the rite of spring, air, Tripak Mastorial uh, Symphony and the Dance of uh, the Hours and Fire, Night on Bald Mountain, which is one of my favorites, uh, Takata, and Fugue in D minor. And of course, you basically beat the enemies, and the way you do a lot of these games, you jump on them, or you can collect magical bubbles that you can shoot at the enemies as projectiles. Magical fucking bubbles. Give me want, a want some magical bubbles, TJ? You got points. In each level, the player collects a certain number of hidden magical notes in order for the song to play once again. You gotta find the music, TJ. It's a powerful Oof. message, isn't it? 
Yeah. Oh. Oh god. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Oh man. This game oh. rocks, man. My Love pulse. it. Just my pulse is racing from this heart pounding gameplay. We bounce on the front. Mickey, just oh. the record. I want to. Oh, what's you know gonna do? What's gonna happen here, Mickey? Like, oh, look at that. I hope the I hope the alligators don't eat them. Oh. Oh. oh he, he, yeah, he made it. I made it. That. Oh shit. Boom. What a platformer. What a, <laughs> Whoa. This is pulse pounding. Whoa. Holy uh, shit. Mickey, just so you know, just a total aside, uh, TJ put me up this episode. I never wanted to even include something like this. I mean, in this, I don't know how you fucking got this game in there. Guy said this is one of the, this is the most terrible awesome, game. Most awesome video it games is. episode, right? Uh, correct. Woo! It is. Yeah. Oh, he's about to slip. Go, go, oh, don't fall in the water, Mickey. Oh, that was a good oh. jump. Oh, jump. Oh, bounce off that. Oh, look at that. Oh my Man, God. this is a fun game. I hope he gets all his musical notes to restore the music, which is what Disney always wants to do to people, bring joy and music into their lives. Dare I say it, thrill a second. Thrill a second gameplay. Move over, Mario. Move over, Sonic. It's fan fucking Tasia, bitch. Woo! <laughs> Jellyfish. Oh! Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. That's some information. Stingrays, oh. too. Taylor, look at the enemy Mickey. diversity. It is. You guys really did a bang up job. On There's a point. sea snake. Wow. Yeah. You oh, really sea like... snake. Oh. So say, the Sega producer Scott uh, Burfield, along with Stephen L. Butler, monitored Info Games' development of the game to ensure it remained a faithful adaptation. That's really good. I mean, Disney was on top of this when they wanted to make sure this remained faithful. Faithful. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, the development team consisted of uh, people who uh, six people who lacked any experience in developing console games. That's a minor detail. So they wanted. Yeah, look what they look, created! New blood. Look at the masterpiece that they wrought! Oh! oh. Yeah, I mean, and Mickey, this is probably a lie, but I'm look, you know, Wikipedia, they they print horrible lies, and, you know, sites where I got this information from. Uh, with pressure from holiday ru the Holiday Rush coming out and the summer release of Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, time to develop the game was a little tight, but of course, you know, sometimes you know, the tighter the time, you know, the, the better the product in the end. Uh, it was difficult to replicate the animation and music quality of the film, to the 16-bit console, which I mean, that sounds like a lie. As everyone can listen to you right now. I mean, just listen to this fucking music. I, mean, I, keep, uh, I keep wondering whether I'm watching Fantasia or if there's being a game played. You know, like is this the scene in Fantasia where the brooms are walking around, or is this the game? Are you guys messing with me? Oh, uh oh, this is a game. 16 bits, Mickey. I can't believe even back in the day. Brilliant. Absolute, Absolute, yeah, I can't digital, believe you guys were able to pull this off. May I say, digital adrenaline. Let's show make another pulse pounding level, TJ. Oh, yes. I mean, oh dinosaurs. dinosaurs! Oh! Enemy diversity once again. Mosquitoes! Pterodactyls! Oh, I guess you got injured by something, but you know, you gotta be, you gotta be. Oh, sharp wits. There's a cactus right oh, there. Cactus dicks! No, oh! Oh, Spiky! Oh, he can jump on it? He can jump on it? Okay. I guess he got yeah. an egg. There's points there. Mickey's feet are invincible, dude. Well, as long as he no. jumps on, he's fine. Oh, look, man. This guy's doing good. This guy's playing out of his fucking mind. Look at this. And look, they even have the interludes with the uh, the orchestra and shit. Mickey going up to the orchestra, yes, telling Mickey, him what give to us do. The notes. You better play this fucking song, you little bitch. Uh, just an amazing work. I mean, uh, look, look at this final level, dude. This might have to be amended, TJ. Night on Bald Mountain, you know. Four games shit. never should have been made in one game. That's the greatest game of all time. Yeah, one game that fucking sh clearly look at should that, have been. Look at that enemy. Look oh at enemy. Wow. Witches and fire faces. That is scary. I feel like there's a witch right there. Oh, is that a witch right there? It is. It's so realistic. Listen to that fucking music. That music just gets you really wow. into it. You just my feel pulse so fucking pounding, Scotty. My the pulse is fucking racing right now. The Let me check my Fitbit. 16-bit video game experience. What is your heart rate, TJ? I mean, you got See, a Fitbit. My, my Fitbit says my heart rate is at fucking... I'm, I'm at 350 beats a minute. I'm probably going to fucking die, wow. but it's worth it. Oh! Will he make it? Who knows? I mean, I always love platformers that have very little penalties uh, if you fall. That always helps. Oh, yeah, that's good because you know, like a lot of times these games, you plan it and you fall down. It's like, oh shit, I fucked up. But this game is very forgiving, you know. It is. You fall down. It's like whatever, man. You make everyone makes mistakes. I feel like I'm in it because I yeah. am. 
That's true, you are. Look at you, you right there. The bubbles. You don't really see the bubble come out. Dude, I want you to see well, the I mean, final boss this fucking game. Okay, look at this final boss's game. Yeah. You're in the hand oh, of the yeah. demon, and you're you're jumping on the, the head, dude. You figured get, spikes get would it. hurt, but not in this game. That's cool. No. That's not the that's not our spikes. That's the hand of the fucking demon. Oh, the of, nails? The, yeah, those yeah. nails. Those nails aren't Okay, 2,000 points. And that's it. Goes. You killed the head, and you get the fucking <gasps> score. What a beautiful ending. Man. You know, you'd think the, was... the boss, you'd think the boss would be like the actual demon and shit, but no, it's just like you you just fight a couple of regular enemies in his hand, and well, uh, then you're done. I'll that's tell a you great this. Performance. If I spent a couple hours playing this game, I would be very satisfied with this conclusion. Oh, it's what? Well, actually, this oh, guy managed. Job. This guy managed to beat the game in 27 minutes, basically. Well, 20, a little closer to 28. Oh, so wow. it's not very speed long, run. but you know, a speed yeah. run. Yeah. Oh, That's man. Uh, so, Mickey, this episode was on games that never should have been made, but I think, obviously, reviewing the evidence now, I mean, we can safely take this one off the list. I mean, that was obviously an error on TJ's part. From obviously. Putting it here to begin with. I didn't put it on there. Uh, TJ, I, 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 you know, like, let's not be coy with Mickey here. I mean, you were talking shit about this game earlier today. I do remember I, well, saying I don't think that. so. I mean, I was saying well, the music. you say Mickey's sound... a moron, TJ, that... That game he made, Fantasia, was a terrible game. I don't think I said that. Do I look like a stupid bitch to you, TJ? Huh? I mean, no. You're not getting one by on me. Okay. We'll talk later. Please, no. Don't. Oh, you no, will I don't want to come later, TJ. You will. Please don't. It's not your choice. Oh, man. Deep fat fight. Deep fat fight.